topic 2.5, we'll be solving this inequality that has an absolute value. And the rule for absolute values followed by a greater than sign is that we split it up into a left and right side. On the right side, we're going to simply remove the absolute values. So we have 2 fifths x plus 4 is greater than 2. On the left side, we're going to remove the absolute values again, 2 fifths x plus 4 but change both of these signs. This will become a less than, and this will become a negative 2. And then we solve both equations. OK, to solve this equation, I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. And I'm going to get 2 fifths x is less than negative 6. Then I'll multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 2 fifths, which is 5 halves. This becomes an x, and this becomes 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Okay. This side over here, we're going to subtract 4 from both sides, over here on the right, and we'll get 2 fifths x is greater than negative 2. Then we'll multiply by the reciprocal of 5 over 2. This will give us x, and this is greater than um, 2 divided by 2 is 1 times negative uh, 5 is negative 5. All right, so this is the solution in um, set notation. Now, as a graph, this will be an open circle at negative 15 and less than is to the left. This will be an open at negative 5 and greater than is to the right. That's the graphic. Uh, furthermore, the interval notation will be negative infinity to negative 15, open parenthesis, union with, open parenthesis, negative 5, to positive infinity. Okay, number 10. Number 10, we have absolute value followed by less than. Therefore, we're going to use the property for that one, which means, which is to uh, remove the absolute values. So 3 fourths x minus 12, less than 3. And then to repeat the sign by here, so we'll have, just a second, so we'll have less than, again, and then change the sign for here. So this is the procedure for dealing with an absolute value followed by less than. So we solve everything from within. All right, so let's add 12 here, here, and there. And as a result, we're going to get a 9 less than equal to 3 fourths x less than, so just less than, and that'll be a 15. Now we're going to multiply everything by the reciprocal of 3 fourths, which would be 4 thirds. Okay. 9 divided by 3 is 3 times 4 is 12. The reciprocal cancels and we get x. And then 15 divided by 3 is 5 times 4 is 20. And so this is x is between 12 and 20. That's the um, solution. We can write this as a graphic as open circles on 12 and 20 and the line segment between. The interval notation for this will be um, parentheses 12 comma 20 open parentheses. Number 12. Number 12, what I want to do is, since this is an absolute value followed by a greater than sign, I'm going to split this into two pieces, our left and right side. On the right side, Everything will remain, we'll just remove the absolute values. So we'll have 3 minus 1 half x greater than or equal to 4. Well, on the left side, we're going to remove the absolute values. And we're going to change the signs to less than and a negative 4. OK. Yes. Get some more space here. OK. Now I'm going to subtract. 3 from both sides here, minus 3, minus 3. And what I get is a negative 1 half x less than or equal to a negative 7. Multiplying by the reciprocal, which is a negative 2, we're going to get a positive x and a positive 14. But the sign will change, and we'll get a greater than or equal to. Okay. Furthermore, here. I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. And this will end up being a negative 1 half x is 
greater than or equal to a 1. Then I multiply this by a negative 2, which is a reciprocal of negative 1 half, and we'll end up with x, a positive x, is less than or equal to um, negative 2. Okay, and that is my solution. Now, to graph this, I'm going to put this answer over here. What should I say? Let me write it this way. I'm going to write it as x is less than or equal to negative 2, or x is greater than 14. I'll write it in that direction, because when I graph it, I'll have a closed circle at negative 2 going to the left for this one, and a closed circle at 14 going to the right for that one. Okay, So you can actually see the spacing in there. And then this side we'll write as, in interval notation, as negative infinity to negative 2 with a um, brace there, or should I say um, bracket union with a bracket on 14 to right will go positive infinity.